Hello friends and welcome to yet another video on Tutorials Point with me Racha. Today we are going to talk about a topic which is one of my personal favorite and it is called as business etiquette. Well today's time, the kind of world we are living in, if you don't have certain basic manners and courtesies, what happens is that the other person feels a little bad about you or a little negative impression of yours goes to that particular person. Have you ever faced certain situations like this wherein a team member of yours peeps into your cubicle uh, without any work or comes and starts gossiping with you or you get this really rude email from a person in your department kind of a, a nasty tone or something like that so some things like this which is uh, falling under business etiquette is certain rules that are governed all over the globe every part of the country any part of the world follows these business etiquette and manners and courtesies let's take a look at the agenda for us to Today. So we will talk about what exactly is the meaning of business etiquette. We will talk about why is it important to go uh, understand business etiquette. We'll talk about first impressions. We'll talk about certain business important business etiquette like email etiquette, telephone etiquette, um, meeting etiquette, cubicle etiquette dress etiquette as well as office etiquette. So my guarantee to you is this that after listening to this particular module, you will know exactly what are the certain manners and courtesies you need to keep in mind when you're working in a corporate environment. So well, what is the definition of business etiquette? Business etiquette means it is a set of manners that is required in a professional environment. The professionals are expected to follow certain rules and behave in a certain manner within the workplace. So this is a manners and something which is like a courtesy which you need to follow. So why is business etiquette important? The reason is it gives you an edge over others in a competitive environment. If you are somebody who's well behaved at workplace, you will definitely get your brownie points. It gives you confidence to stand out in diverse settings in your organization. It also helps to build on a positive image. Definitely people like talking to or working with people who have their manners and courtesies in place. It's simple things like please and thank you or may I do this rather than just going and doing something without taking permission from people. Well, first impression is the last impression, is the lasting impression which we have also spoken in many, many other modules. And it takes only seven to eight seconds to actually find or, you know, rather form a good impression of yourself on others. Certain email etiquette that we are going to take a look at. So every time you read uh, an email, you are uh, having certain notions about the person because you cannot see them face to face on an email, your tone and everything else becomes very important. For example, you need to proofread your email every time you send it out. It should have a subject line which is relevant to the body of the email. It should be respectful and polite. As mentioned earlier, a person cannot see you. At the same time, he should be able to understand the kind of person you are based on your tone, which should be respectful and polite. Your email needs to be appropriate. It should have proper spelling and grammar. It should be clear, it should be planned, and it should definitely be a professional email. Well, all of these things are very, very important part of an email which goes out to your colleagues, to your uh, clients, any internal or external stakeholder. Well, if you are talking to clients or internal customers over the phone, it becomes important to follow certain telephone etiquette. Again, in telephone etiquette, the person cannot see you but can hear your voice and form a judgment about you. Here is what is on telephone etiquette. Always identify yourself at the beginning of all the calls so that the person knows whom they are talking to and the gender of that person. Secondly, speak clearly and slowly so that the other person understands what you're trying to say. Third is to be sensitive to the tone of your voice. Again, your tone should be very polite and professional, firm yet not something which can sound rude to people. And avoid interruptions. Uh, again, it's important while you're talking on the phone to somebody, do not send a text message at the same time or do not type into your laptop at the same time. When you're talking on the phone, avoid any kind of interruption and give your 100% to the person you're speaking to. Well, certain meeting etiquette. 
this is very essential because whenever you go for a meeting you do not want certain things which can really leave a bad impression in a corporate company or environment certain meeting etiquette and manners are very important for example you need to be on time prepare well for the meeting you should know what the agenda of the meeting is do not use your mobile phones i think it's a complete wrong impression you make if you use your phones during a meeting be brief and relevant and never interrupt anyone. If a host or somebody else from in a meeting is talking, please listen to them properly before putting in your comments. It's very rude to interrupt somebody. Certain cubicle etiquette that one should definitely keep in mind if you're working for a corporate environment or an organization. Knock before entering somebody else's cubicle. Do not just barge inside their cubicle. Choose your food wisely. If you're eating in a cubicle area, please understand it's an open workstation or work environment. If you're eating something which has a high uh, amount of smell, like for example, onions and garlics and pickles, etc., it can leave a bad impression because that smell really spreads fast. So choose your food wisely. Do not use speaker phones because you could be disturbing your neighbor. Keep your hands off others' desks as well as computers. Never interrupt your colleagues without permission. If they're sitting in their respective designated area, do not just go and start chatting with them. Try to first take permission and know that they're not doing something or they're free to talk. Do not loiter around um, other people's cubicles and workstations. Please restrict yourself to your own uh, desk or you know, constrain yourself to your particular workstation. Well, certain dress etiquette is very important. If you're working for a corporate company, it makes a lot of difference if you are dressed formally rather than dressing up casually. So proper grooming adds on to your personality. Always wear professional clothes and not casual clothes. Your clothes have to be well neat and ironed without any creases. It should look simple, yet it should look elegant. Never wear strong deos and colognes and perfumes. It should not feel that you've had a bath in that particular perfume. And wear light makeup. This is for women. Certain do's in terms of your body language, which you need to keep in mind as a business etiquette. Keep having a proper eye contact with people. Always make sure that you're using positive hand gestures and keeping your hands always open while you're talking. Do not fold your arms or do not put your arms into the pockets or hands into the pockets. Again, it's a very negative body language. Make sure that you're actively listening and make your emotions visible on the face. Make power posing a habit. It's also a lot of difference is made if you're showing negative body language to people. Uh, it's also important that business etiquette is all about how you project yourself in the first couple of minutes that you're talking to people. Certain office etiquette, uh, general courtesies and manners are very important because people are always forming an impression on that. So be punctual, do not be late, be a good team player. Avoid using slangs and vulgar language in the office area. Treat all co-workers with a lot of respect and courtesy. Whether you're talking to the MD of the company, the CEO of the company, or the, to the pune or the office boys, you need to make sure that everyone is treated with a lot of courtesy. Well, to conclude this particular topic on business etiquette, I'm sure you've understood that business etiquette is all about your manners and courtesies. People are noticing all the time in you whenever you are in a corporate environment. I do hope you have enjoyed listening to this particular module on business etiquette as much as I've enjoyed teaching this to you. Thank you for watching. Please do like, do share your comments and feedback which will help us to improve our videos. Thank you very much once again.